ढाई बजे का ढाई बजे तक नहीं पहुंचे तो डू और ढाई हो जाएगा ढाई बजे तक Sorry. <laughs> Let's go out of here. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Bahus namo namaha. Thanne baadha. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good evening, everybody. Radhe Radhe. A very warm welcome to another exciting week of um, daily wisdom from Bhagavad Gita session. Hope you all had a great weekend. Wonderful weekend. And. Uh, great start to your new week as well so let's get started we are going to talk about uh, uh, we are in chapter 3 in the recap series that we are doing technically we are in chapter 4 uh, so we will continue to recap our chapter 3 and pretty soon we will be back on track one verse a day from chapter 4 that is what we have been um, going per the sequence but we will continue to touch upon the important topics the important concepts for the benefit of everybody and let's get started by invoking the blessings of god and guru like we always do so let me share my screen and we will get on the way all right so let's get started so by the way we will now it's a bit far off i think it march first week i'll get the exact date anyway we will give you a heads up again the you know the, uh, the rotation of earth on its axis is going to do the trick here right we will be starting one hour early the time is going to change again so it will be 7:30 for you at india hopefully it will work for most of you because um it it will not coincide with you know your daily routine especially things that you start after 8 or 9 so we will be moving that clock back one hour early typically it works for most hopefully it's the case for all if not most of you if not most then at least most of you if not all if most of you i would say by the way let's let get started by invoking the blessings of god and good then we'll get started with our topic guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwar ha guru sakshat par brahma तस्मै श्री गुरव नम वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु all right radhe radhe again all of you so let's get started so today we're going to pick up 3.14 we will talk about um, the concept of rain and and the wonderful technology of god that humans cannot venture into okay no matter how how much science can advance so we'll talk about that as well i'm going to recite it so sam ji you can't recite before me okay so let me do that now annad bhavanti bhutani parjanyad anna sambhavah yagyat bhavati parjanyo yagya karma karma samudbhav okay okay Samji, as always, Radhe Radhe, please go ahead. Samji, please go ahead. Anna Bhavanti Bhutani Parjanya Danna Sambhava Ha Egna Bhavati Parjanyo Egna Ha Karma Samudbhava Ha. Very nice, Samji. Very nice, Radhe Radhe. Ah, uh, Surya Prakash Ji, Radhe Radhe, please go ahead. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Nitin Ji, Sanjay Ji. अनाथ 
Thank you. All right, so, let's take the few more hands and I see a few more people have turned on their video, which is nice. Is it Aarti ji? Not Aarti ji, okay. It is Pranali ji, Sonali ji. All right, thank you for turning on your video. Good to see you. It's always good to put faces to names. Okay, let's take uh, uh, the next few hands. Yeah, for, uh, oh, Parna ji. Yeah, Parna ji, Radhe Radhe, please go ahead. Radhe Radhe. Anad Bhavanti Bhutani Parjanyad Anna Sambhavaha Yatnyad Bhavati Parjanyo Yatnya Karma Samudhavaha. Wonderful, very nice. Thank you. Parnaji. Shamji, Radhe Radhe, please go ahead. Anad Bhavanti Bhutani Parjanyadan Sambhava Yagyad Bhavati Parjanyo Yagya Karma Samudbhava Radhe Radhe. Very nice, very nicely cited, Shamji. And as part of uh, our gratitude to you for the wonderful recitation you have done, we have a surprise for you, okay? You'll be amazed to see that. All right. Okay, let's move on. Let's pick up yeah, the yeah. hands. Yeah, Radhe Radhe Rahul ji. Annad bhavanti bhutani parjanyad ann sambhavaha yagyat bhavati parjanyo yagya karma samudvavaha. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, very nice. Rahul, okay, let's pick the last five hands. Okay, Sumesh ji, Radhe Radhe, please go ahead. Radhe Radhe Nitin ji, Radhe Radhe Sandhya ji, Radhe Radhe everyone. Anad Bhavanti Bhutani Parjanyadana Sambhavaha Yannad Bhavati Parjanyo Yajna Karma Samudhavaha Wonderful. Very nice. Sameshi, Radhe Radhe. Okay. Let's quickly pick up the remaining hands. Let's freeze the hands to the last five now. Okay. Yes. Um, Riya ji, Radhe Radhe, please go ahead. Radhe Radhe, Riya ji. Radhe Radhe. Anad bhavanti bhutani parjanyad anna sambhavaha yajnyad bhavati parjanyo yajnya karma samudbhavaha very nice. Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Last four. Ragi ji, Radhe Radhe. Please go ahead. Ragi ji. Radhe Radhe. Thank you. Anad bhavanti bhutani parjanne ad ansambhavaha yagyad bhavati parjanyo yagya karm samudbhavaha Very nice, Ragi ji. Wonderful. Radhe Radhe. Last three hands. Radhe Radhe Uday Kumar ji, please go ahead. Radhe Radhe. Uh, Annad Bhavanti Bhutani Parjanyad Anna Sambhavaha Ignad Bhavati Parjanyo Igna Karma Samudbhavaha Radhe Radhe. Wonderful. Very nice. Radhe Radhe. Last two. Yes, Sai Ramji. Radhe Radhe. Please go ahead. Radhe Radhe Sai Ramji. Oh. Yes. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Sai. Bhavanti Bhutani Parjanyad Anna Sambhavaha Yagnyad Bhavati Parjanyo Yagna Karma Samudhavaha. Very nice. Sai Ramji. Radhe Radhe. Last but not the least. Yes. Uh, Radhe Radhe. Annad Bhavati Bhutani Parjanyad Anna Sambhavaha Yagyad bhavati parjanyo, yagya karma samudbhavaha. Very nice, Sandhya. The first one is bhavanti, second one is bhavati. All right, so let's get started. See, I'm just proving that I'm listening carefully here. Okay, so let's get started. So in this shloka, Lord Krishna is saying, all living beings subsist on food and food is produced by rains 
rains come from the performance of sacrifice and sacrifice is produced by the performance of prescribed duties. There's a beautiful cycle here. When we perform our prescribed duties, it is considered a sacrifice. Right? We, we would imagine that when we do our prescribed duties, what's a big deal? It's what kind of a surprise it is. But in God's eyes, he gives us the credit for it as a sacrifice just to your prescribed duties. Now, by understanding, first of all, what your prescribed duties do it, it's considered a sacrifice. Then when you do sacrifice, rains will come. Why? Because rains are controlled by Devi Devatas, Devatas. So they are pleased. So when they please, they are the rain is like the tears of joy that fall down. Okay, because they are pleased. And when rain comes, it produces grain. And when the grains are produced, basically the whole cycle is maintained, as we would see. Okay. So let's get deeper into the shloka. All right. So we are going to talk about this gentleman who is caught up in the jail. And with the two options that he can avail. Okay. And which one we we would imagine would be a smarter option is where we will talk a little bit as well. Okay. But before we get into this, let's get started with the concept that we are going to discuss today. Now, if you look at it, the cycle, right? human beings, uh, the gift gifts from nature is what we were talking about, right? Now, even if you look at all the other species, animals, they also um, eat, live and on food or grains. Food or grains is required to subsist even the other species, including animals. So grains are a must for everybody on this planet to subsist or sustain themselves. The wheat, the rice, paddy that we talk about and all the cereals. Today I was uh, uh, reading that millets, I think there's a lot of politics going on around millets in Karnataka, what they are naming it. It's a very uh, useful uh, grain in addition to wheat and uh, uh, and paddy and millet uh, has a lot of nutritional and medicinal value and a lot of people use it as a substitute for rice also i mean if you you, you can try it especially if you're health conscious it it can change a lot of stuff in your body very healthy very light so that is also a cereal a grain so all the grains they are produced through rain so if you look at this whole cycle the rains fall down I hope you're seeing the rain falling down. When it falls down, it produces grain. No, no rain, no grain. Right? Like we say, no pain, no gain. No rain, no grain. Then what happens? All the species, they subsist on these grains in some form or manner. If you look at the birds, the squirrel, the horses, and even for us, Anything and everything that is on our table actually comes from grains, as we will see. And that is how this system is maintained. Okay, So this is the cycle, how it goes. And this, uh, this uh, uh, that is how the ecosystem is maintained. And everything is dependent upon grain. And grain is dependent upon rain. Okay. Now, let's move on. So let's understand this. How where does our duty come into picture here? Big picture, okay. So here's the rain again. Now it falls on the land, and only God has this technology. Can we have a technology where we put mud on one side and and the grain comes out on the other side? We don't have that technology. Scientists cannot produce it in a lab, okay. Only God has the technology where you put it on one end and it, it converts it into grain on the other end. That is how beautiful this technology is, okay? Brahmaji, uh, he decoded this technology by listening to Vedas from God and he has created this whole cycle and uh, this technology is proprietary to Brahmaji only. Nobody can do the copyright or, or imitate it in laboratory. You cannot do that. Yeah, you have the seeds, but then where would the seeds come from, right? So this is how the cycle goes. Now, if you look at it, the rains are resulting into grains and 
even the other things like uh, the fruit, tomatoes and all that stuff that we see. And finally, it lands into your table. Right? At the end of the day, it's a derivative of a grain only. Some kind of a derivative of grain only. That is provided for by God through God's technology. And using that, we can create different cuisines. Chinese, American, Italian, plus minus. We do the plus minus of all the basic ingredient which is provided by God, which ends up on our table. Even the, you know, the cows, they graze. They also feed on grass. And finally, the dairy industry is based around cows, right? Especially if you're not vegan. Milk is also, if you look at it, milk is also a derivative of, um, basically, it's, it's also resulting from cows and cows are feeding on grass and grass is coming from mud. Again, that's a technology provided for by God only, right? And the whole of this is consumed by us, which makes, makes for our body. How does it work? One third becomes what we consume. One third becomes mind. One third becomes body, gross body. And one third is eliminated from our body. Okay. And when we get grains, when the celestial gods are pleased, when that is when they provide rain. So factually, if you look at it, everything is a derivative of mud only. It's just a derivative of mud. right? As you go up the ladder... Mud gets converted into grain, grain gets into food, food you eat and then that gets converted into, uh, you know, based on the kind of uh, whether what kind of body you have, it becomes part of your body after a while. So it's a derivative of mud. Anything and everything that we eat, vegetables, fruits, grains, lentils, grass, even the milk industry, right? Now we consume these edibles and they, those get transformed into our gross body. So it is not an exaggeration to say the body is created from mud. Like in Bible also it says, from dust unto dust. So, regardless, so basically when somebody, this gross body, because it is made up of mud, it gets returned back to mud only. Right? Like, like there's a saying in Hindi, Mitti ho gaya. that means the guy is gone. You are done basically. So, from mud into the mud. Now, the key thing here to understand is that all of this, is sustained because of when the Devi Devatas or the celestial gods, they are pleased. And when are they pleased? They are pleased when you perform your prescribed duties with the spirit. That is called the spirit of sacrifice. And when they are pleased, they will anyway provide for it. Now, these days, the humanity is going back and forth between GMO and organic. Scriptures tell us you have it well within your hands. If you simply do your duty, pull in your weight the way you are required to do, you will never fall short of the, the what do you call that, food grains. You'll have a plenty of, uh, what do you call that, fertile land and plenty of rain to support that. In fact, earth has so much of fertile land that it can support 10 times the current population. However, if human beings become greedy and start shrinking the fertile land, for their selfish gains by doing tobacco yields and other kind of things and start exploiting nature, deforestation and so many things, which is not done in the spirit of sacrifice, then these imbalances start happening. You'll have less of fertile land. You'll have less of rain, more of arid areas, you know, deserts and stuff like that. That, that whole balance starts shifting when Devi Devatas, they get upset. And why do they get upset? Because everybody is working as per God's design they are pulling in their weight, but humans have started becoming exploitative in nature. That spirit of sacrifice has started missing. And that is where this problem starts happening. Okay. On the contrary, when we do things with the spirit of sacrifice, our prescribed duties, the whole universal forces, they start cooperating. You would have seen, even when you, when you plan to do something spiritual or you plan to uh, plan for some event and things like that where you really want to go it's related to some spiritual things will start cooperating why because universal forces they have no option but to cooperate why because they are they are dictated or under the governance of celestial gods and when we do that we are already serving the purpose of this universe and we are it makes them pleased so they start cooperating with us as well 
So the best way to align universal forces with us to actually do things not with the mindset of bhog, but yoga. Yoga means as a spirit of sacrifice for God, for his pleasure. So when we do it for his pleasure, it is very auspicious. Of course, the celestial gods are pleased. It's purifying for our antakaran. It builds us a spirit of sacrifice and it takes us closer to the goal of our life as well. So doing our prescribed duties is basically a hygiene criteria for us to exist on this earth. Because what you are doing is you are letting the universal forces, you are playing your part in that. You are no longer being a free rider in this entire creation because everybody is doing their work and so are you. And when that happens, everybody is pleased, including this Devi Devatas as well. And there is no shortage of grains, rains and whatever is needed or whatever it needs to be provided for, for our subsistence and sustenance. But when we start messing up with it, by becoming selfish, that's when these cycles start changing. And in fact, it is said that towards the end of the Kali Yuga, we would have Sharang call the fertile land. There'll be very less food grains available. Sun will start beating 10 times far hotter. People will start living underground, unbearable sun, because there'll be a shortage of food supply. The cannibalism will be promoted. Those kind of things are likely to happen towards the end of the... We are very far away from that. And it... It's in our best interest not to repeat in that era. Okay, Another reason for us to prioritize our spiritual growth. People who think, right, it's a fun place to be. It's not actually. Okay, The, the true meaning of Dukhale will start manifesting on, your, on the face as we start drawing a clo closure to the Kaliuk cycle. Yes, Samji. Anything related to this topic? Nothing to do with Krishna and Butter today, right? Radhe Radhe Samji. Radhe Radhe Nitin ji. Yes. Radhe uh, Radhe Samji. So, the, uh, what are the sacrifices for these celestial gods? Usually for Supreme Lord, Krishna, Sadi and Bhagavad Gita that we have to do uh, in the consciousness, the, in his consciousness, offering the results to him. We are doing this duty, this work for him, for his sake. So, that is basically it's connected with consciousness. But what is that sacrifice for celestial gods? So, I don't know specifically, okay, I, I, what I've, I, I'm trying to learn or trying to focus on is to, to basically water the root, okay, that's a smart strategy, rather than learning, how do I water each leaf? So, Bhagavad Gita itself, like Krishna himself is saying that all, all the sacrifices that you perform for these Devi Devatas, right, there are Vidhi and Nisheds in our scriptures, I don't know about that. I have not heard what will please Indra other than knowing that Govardhan Leela where people used to worship him for rains, right? So there is a vidhi for every devta. What do you do to please them? But our scriptures tell us the smart strategy is rather than looking at watering each leaf and flower and twig and trunk and whatnot in a tree, why not you focus on watering the root itself? Because when you do devotion, the Devi Devtas are automatically pleased. It will all automatically take care of that. I will not focus on any Devi Devtas. It's it's something, um, I mean, people who are interested for material boons only, they can explore that. But Swamiji doesn't focus on that because as saints, when they come, their focus is not to elevate you materially. Their goal is to elevate you spiritually. Okay, when we think ourselves as a body, that's when world is our goal. When we think ourselves as a soul, then God is the goal. And when God is the goal, you focus on serving the root, not focusing on flowers, leaves and all that stuff. So, but yeah, so that is something which at least I'm not aware of, but in scriptures, I, I'm pretty sure there are there are enough uh, things available where you can get certain things by doing certain things, right? Ashwamed, Yagya, you do, you can become Indra. And I think how many lives of celibacy, if you lead, you can become Brahma. So first thing is you have to stop having a desire of marrying. I think Brahma is the biggest celibate. So all the vidhis are given, depending upon what we want to become. But smart strategy is to water the root and get closer to the goal of life. Because no matter what we become, if you are delving in material world and going to rotate in 8.4 million, it's a waste of time and effort, right? So hopefully my short answer to your long question helped. Yes. Okay, good. Great. So let's move on. 
Now, it here, Lord Krishna is describing the cycle of nature. Rain begets rain, grains. Grains are eaten and transformed into blood. From blood, semen is created. Semen is the seed from which the human body is created. See, this is all beautifully designed system by Brahmaji. Nobody has that technology. We perform yagyas. They propitiate celestial God. They cause rains. And so the cycle continues. Okay. So this is the cycle, how it goes. Now, when it becomes part of body, see, this is how beautifully it goes as well. Now, let's look at this cycle. When we eat something, it becomes ras. The bile juices are produced, right? That, I don't know what I said, or agni, uh, you know, and then using that digestive fire in the system, it produces ras. Ras produces rat. Okay. Rakt produces mans, mans produces meda, meda produces haddi, haddi, pacha, and then virya. This is how the cycle goes. Now, if you think about it, only a magician can create this kind of a thing. We don't have a technology to do that. You know, you could you could actually take our blood and decompose those chemicals worth bunch, you know, bunch of chemicals worth uh, maybe a few hundred rupees or a few dollars, maybe hundred dollars, few hundred dollars not more than that. But you take those chemicals and convert it into life. Do we have the technology to do that? We don't have it. Now, scientists say that uh, it's a chemical, rea chemical reaction, you know, the life or the consciousness and stuff like that. But then science says under certain condition, you can reverse a chemical reaction. Chemical reaction is reversible under controlled conditions or certain conditions. Can you produce life out of it? You cannot. So this is a beautiful technology God has created um, uh, so that we have a gross body and then we find the purpose of that's that's a vehicle for our soul and then we do a thato brahma jigyasa who is God who am I what is my relationship with him and uh, and then how do I get closer to the goal of my life and ultimately achieve it that's the first thing he said and then he also goes on to say um, he said ignorance is the biggest culprit because of which we are not able to make quick strides. Because either we don't know, or even if we don't know, we become lazy, uh, we procrastinate. So all this cycle, uh, the point in this particular shloka is that for us to be, for us to even be able to sustain um, the way we are, you know, take care of our body, nourish our body, uh, and also have the universal forces cooperate during the duration of our lives we have to do our prescribed duties because that is something that that makes celestial gods happy and it's important that they are happy because it's a very nicely maintained balance that god has created you pull in your weight they will do their job and everybody is happy happy in the sense they can they can continue progressing in what they are supposed to do so that may not result in god realization but that would please stay with us and at least you will have a comfortable supporting system around you. Okay, Universal forces will cooperate with you. But then, then it, when we have that support, of course, the journey towards God realization is a lot more easy, easier, relatively easier as opposed to dealing with femines and all that stuff, right? If if entire life we have to deal with Adi Devic problems, you know, here's a tornado, is a tsunami and here's an earthquake which has come, that's not a good situation to be in, right? And uh, for that, we have to do things for, with the spirit of our sacrifice. If our aim is just to do our sense gratification, then the cycle will get disturbed, right? If you are eating food, now we have to eat food. And if you are eating food for sense gratification alone, not as a remnant of God or, or with the spirit of sacrifice, that thank you God for giving me this and I'll take utilize this food to nourish my body and take care of my body so that I can, you know, do my seva and sadhana properly then it becomes a yajna. But if you simply doing it to satiate your tongue, then it becomes a bhog. Okay? And if we continue to do that only, then, then we know that universal forces over a period of time, they do a balancing act, which is called adhidevic problems that we have to deal with. Now let's move on. And uh, this administration we spoke about, If even if you look at, right, um, the clothes also come from the rains because cotton is produced even the valuable stone people like jewelry right some people all those precious stone in the womb of mother earth they are also produced by rain only and uh, 
grass, of course, we have looked at that aspect as well, right? So this whole arrangement is so nicely made and this administration basically is managed in such a way that whatever is needed for a necessity of our life, it's a grace of God that it is made available to us. And so it becomes our duty to continue to advance ourselves and through right knowledge on the spiritual path without unnecessarily engaging ourselves in sense gratification. That is the key word here. And that is the difference between human civilization and animal life. Animals don't have that option. They will unnecessarily, they will necessarily engage in the, as per the instincts that they are endowed with. If they are hungry, they will eat. And if they are violent, they will attack. Okay? Uh, but humans, they are given a discriminatory power and because of which it is more is expected that you don't just limit it to your sense gratification alone. Think of the big picture, how you are contributing to the welfare of the society and humanity at large because your action, you are actually pulling your weight in, you know, and, and helping the universe, universal forces to cooperate. So each one of us is actually contributing towards the index, universal index when it comes to pleasing gods, celestial gods. Yes, Preeti ji, you had a question? Uh, Radhe Radhe Preeti ji, please go ahead. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. I think um, God gave us all these amenities and we are suppo supposed to respect nature because we mother, we call it mother nature. This is all God's creation. But because of our ego, we are destroying the earth and that's why all this uh, is happening. Like people want to show off a big home. Like Swamiji was saying, there's 10,000 square feet home and there is only two people living there to show off our ego so we want bigger home that requires a lot of wood cutting a lot of energy unnecessary same thing with our cars okay. there is only one person going in the car and there is a five passenger car and so we are using up all that extra stuff to show off and yeah. if we need five pair of clothes and or four and we get we get and our eastern philosophy said just Use the nature only as much as you need. So you, if an apple tree is there, only one apple you're supposed to eat, take it. Nowadays, they, we take all the apples, cut the apple tree and sell it for the wood to make ourselves rich. So we become very selfish and egoistic. And that's why this is happening, all this global warming. Just true. wanted to share my thoughts. Very true, very true, Piti. Thank you for bringing that out. Yes, they say that, there's one aspect which is called ecosystem, which is a delicate balance, which is which has to be maintained and respected and honored. The problem is now it is becoming ecosystem where humans have established themselves at the top of everything, right? That everything is there for my benefit and to serve, serve us. So that is where the problem starts happening because that is not how, how this um, universe was designed to begin with. Great point. Now let's move on to the story. Okay, let's get to the story. And Samji, hopefully that helps answer some of your questions as well. Yes, Udeji, you wanted to add something? Yeah, Radhe, Radhe Udeji. Yeah, just for an update, actually, uh, you mentioned about millets, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just for an update and benefit for, for all the party spends. Actually, I've been with millets and I sell millets. Oh. And uh, this year it is called as the International Year of Millets 2023. Mm. And India is the lead runner in that. Next comes Nigeria and Niger, countries in Africa. Yes. Uh, we are the largest producers in the world. Um, and uh, since 20 years, I've been selling these millets only. Uh, we are supporting some farmers in Karnataka, uh, Andhra okay. Pradesh. Uh, but I humbly request everyone to utilize this, uh, I mean, healthy grains, which were neglected uh, till now. And uh, they don't consume a lot of water. Uh, they are actually uh, rain-fed crops. Uh, we usually don't, uh, I mean, they don't uh, require much of a water and all. So they are, I mean, highly nutritious and it is considered as nutri cereals. They fall in two categories, pulses, between pulses and grains. Got it. So that's why it is uh, got, it has got the name of nutri cereal. Uh, and uh, we are glad that I'm, I'm since from the beginning of this and uh, we have plenty of uh, customers who are uh, having chronic problems. Uh, they also got rid of that and uh, they reduced their medical bills. 
Wonderful. Uh, so it's a proof of uh, what you call uh, really uh, healthy grains. But of course, uh, uh, there is no, not a great following in that. Uh, but maybe we can use some uh, value added products from that. Sure. Uh, close to around 200 startup companies are there in India, which are uh, manufacturing this millet based products. Thank you, Deji. So, maybe we can have a session on millet only. Uh, you know, you can give us a presentation on that because it is a wonderful uh, grain. I'm, I'm actually waking up to the benefits of it. And we, we use it as a substitute for rice and it is wonderful. It's a wonderful grain. Um, doesn't cause inflammation as wheat and other things do. And we, I think the world is waking up to the its benefits. But let's move on. Uh, we'll get back to the millet discussion again. Surinderji, let's hold off. We'll have, yes, you wanted to add real quick something. Um, hopefully not mm -hmm. late. Right now. We are not mm -hmm. continuing with the Just to add that India's, India's national meal is khichdi. And khichdi consumes a lot of all the millets. There yes. can be a variety of khichdis. Yes, millet khichdi, millet poha, all that is cool. Okay, I'm sure a lot of people are going to check out millet now. But yeah, it's a good addition to your diet. You know, you could use it as a substitute for rice for sure. And it's very healthy. Okay, so now let's move on. Let's get into the story part of it. Now, here's a gentleman who is, uh, okay, not a gentleman. Otherwise, uh, for whatever reason, he's in C-class prison. Now, what happens to this person is that uh, he's facing a life sentence. Okay. And he gets beaten up and down every day. We know, right, how... Uh, we may not know, but we may have seen it in movies, right? So, he gets beaten up, up and down every day. And he needs to face punishment and scolding from the prison keepers, other inmates and so on. So, People who are inside, they are also troubling him and prison keepers are also troubling him. Inmates are troubling him and life is miserable for this person. And he's able, to, he's basically made to do tough work, you know, a laborious work and basically even when he's very sick. And that is how the life in a prison is. Now what he starts doing is his endeavor, now he starts getting smart. Okay, He said, okay, let me build rapport with who's who of jail. Everybody, like in Delhi, I say that statement, everybody is somebody and nobody is nobody. So he also starts identifying who's who of the, of the prison so that he can have a little bit of jack or jugard within the prison itself, like they say that. And thinking of making a difference to his day-to-day -day life just making it comfortable in the jail. And he's happy that he's able to get relatively comfortable facilities. He built some connections and all that stuff. And now he's getting some comfortable facilities from time to time because of his good behavior and rapport with the jail administrator. So he found the key people who call the shots in the jail. He started building a relationship with them and started enjoying the privilege that comes along with it. Okay. Now, what is that privilege? You know, you lose, see, he's getting a A class. So he's trans basically transported to a very nice jailhouse, much, much more comfortable than the one that he's used to. Now, there's another person there in the jail. Apparently, he keeps on talking about a jailbreak or getting out of the jail itself. He doesn't believe him and quite content with the pleasures that he started in getting in the jail. Okay, now he's in an A-class jail and he's pretty settled and comfortable here because that is what he was trying for. Now, what would you tell this guy? How do you feel about this story in general? Shamji, any thought? To me, this also reminds me of the Shashank Redemption movie. Shashank Redemption, yes. If you've not seen that movie, please do check it out. It's an interesting movie. Um, this movie actually, but yeah, it, it goes on to the extent of where the guy, he's in a jail and he got so habituated to the jail that he doesn't want to get out. And once he gets out, he's not able to cope up with the external world and he ends up his life. Pretty interesting psychology that he developed over time. Yes, Shamji, uh, let's hear from yeah. you about this guy. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. 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 First things first, what are you talking about in Hindi? What do it's called me later, I think. Hindi. Angrezi, I'm talking about Hindi. I don't know. 
पता नहीं मेरे अमेरिका में आए एवर सिंस आई स्टार्टेड बाजरा रागी ज्वार आई डोंट नो मिलेट का ठीक है बाद में जो हम yes. जेल की बात कर रहे हैं भाई जेल आई गेस ये आप हमारी बात कर रहे हैं वी ऑल इन दिस जेल दिस मेडिकल जेल और हमें इससे बाहर निकलना है इसीलिए हम यहां पर आए हैं आप गीता पढ़ने के लिए कुछ लोगों को खुशी मिलती है इसी जेल में रह के कुछ कुछ को लगता है कि इस जेल से बाहर आ जाए बट भाई एज वी ऑल से दिस मटेरियल माया इज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट वी वांट दिस जेल हार्डली दी फर्स्ट एनी वन ऑफ अस वांट्स टू कम आउट ऑफ इट एज वी ऑल ग्रो एज यू सेड वी हैव जुगाड वी हैव दोस सोर्सेस वी ट्राई टू रीच द सोर्सेस फॉर आवर आवर बेनिफिट एंड वी फॉरगेट व्हाट आवर ट्रू गोल अल्टीमेट एम इज एंड वी जस्ट कीप ऑन रिवॉल्विंग दिस एंटायर वर्ल्ड लाइक अ like a whirlpool and at the end when the end time comes we just realize oh gosh ye to sab khatam ho gaya and we have lived the world in a a class prison not knowing what better benefits we would have had we gone outside the world out to the jail so it is for us to realize this in the self and leave this a class or c class or b class prison and come out and realize our true true beloved krishna radhe yeah. radhe Very nice. First thing first, millet ko Hindi mein bajra kehte hain. So it's called bajra in Hindi. But now let's move on. Very true. So this A class jail, when I'm talking about one part of it is yes, we it's like getting into that horror movie, even though we are getting scared because we have paid for it, we still want to continue relishing it. Now these uh, who's who that I'm talking about? Yes, Sandhya, you wanted to add something? No question actually from Urvi. If I can take it. Sure. little long i will just say god can make a little change in his creation and the earthquakes and all kinds of natural calamities can stop there is nothing impossible for him and he is an expert engineer but he keeps it in his creation so that we learn to grow in hardships because difficulties are an opportunity for growth therefore it is for our own good so are these calamities not because of god's wish in his creation or do they depend upon human action or do both the things have an equal role to play yeah that's a good one actually so i don't know there's a honey that can be attributed to one of these the catastrophes that happen but typically this whole creation it's a very delicate balance that is how god has created and uh, it's like our body right if even we start abusing it we will continue to abuse it for the rest of eternity if there are no consequences it's only when do- doctor starts saying you're becoming pre diabetic or now you have diabetes or your liver you know you better start stop drinking then we take pay heed to that or when we eat excessively we start you know body starts throwing up then we need to take a corrective action so that body has its way of healing itself that is the perfection in the creation that we have similarly he has designed universe in such a way that any time an imbalance is created it 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 has it will take a corrective action to heal itself having said that do we have some historical precedences of god creating calamities to uplift humanity you know because they have become complacent i don't know i have to ask swami ji you know if it could be part of honi also you never know but more more often than not it is called called upon by us because of the Uh, irresponsible and exploitative living that we have gotten used to but yeah it's quite possible because when you look at when you this whole thing um, gets reset it is called upon by god in at a macro level god is controlling everything so if kaliyug is supposed to end at 432000 years and all of a sudden people become responsible still god has to go by 432 right the age of kaliyug so i don't know how it will work out but it's a very interesting question maybe it's part of honi as well at times um i can ask swami ji that question at least i haven't heard of that precedent so far but good question and um, one more thing just lots of people are messaging me that millet is basically any mota anaj so okay. it includes all of them bajra ragi jowar and all right millet is the theme of the day today all right <laughs> great so let me continue so when we are talking about who's who who's who of this jail who's who of this jails are devatas okay so rather than having some jugards and temporary reliefs 
by getting building a connect with devatas and reading the scripture to please indra or vayu or agni or get some material boons it's more stress smarter strategy to think about getting out of the jail itself but our endeavors in our life are centered around all the you know endeavors so that we can make our life comfortable either you know materially in some form or manner and we want to run away from things which are discomforting which gives us so that is where the we have to look at the big picture part of it we are stuck in jail and our entire life centers around how to make our life comfortable in jail why not think about how to get out of the jail itself like buddha did but we are not buddha as yet but the aspiration eventually if you have to progress has to get closer to that only that okay let's get a permanent cure to these problems why so do a bandaid bandaid solution right? we all want to address it at the root cause itself and that is why we are you know trying to get better at uh, understanding this you know the spiritual principles and then continue to align to that now what comes in our way let's look at this as well so these are the panchaklesh tridosh trita panchkosh trikarma jan mrityu jara vyadi right all this stuff this is part of material prison mrityu lok you have to deal with it panchaklesh you have rag dwesh either you like somebody or you hate somebody asmita is there okay it's not hasmita it's asmita that means i think uh, it is uh, ignorance that is the first problem that comes and because of ignorance then it has compounding effect we think of ourselves as a body right not as a soul and then uh, we keep on focusing on the logical extension of this body relative my son my daughter my family my country my this my that it's all a asmita because of asmita it is happening and uh, abhinivesh is something fear of death we have because we think of ourselves as a body now when we talk about asmita it's a big problem right we think of ourselves we say we don't have time we don't have time we don't have time we are too busy right now my priority is this 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 all these things come why we are thinking of ourselves as a body you would say no that's not the case but my priority because of what i'm doing is something different the doctor comes and says if you don't take rest for one month say goodbye to your life the same person who super busy is going to lie down on the bed and do nothing because doctor has told them your liver will go for a toss then because you think you are a body and your liver is very important you will take rest with but for soul we don't care it's okay i'm busy i don't have time for spirituality i don't have time to understand this so that is where the problem happens because of asmita so panchaklesh we have to deal with tridosh we have to deal with the imbalances causes all the diseases kaf vit pat tritap like i spoke about adi bhautik adi daivik adhyatmik we have to deal with panchakosha anname praname manome kosha because of which the diseases happen imbalances trikarma sanchet prarabd kriyaman each one of his we can go in detail but the point here is when we are in material world we have to deal with birth death old age and disease so these are the prisons i was talking about the better plan is to directly think do it for the pleasure of god and you will be free simply add devoting things to god krishna you will be out of the jail as opposed to doing a patchwork and a bandaid work that we continue to do if you are going to please the jailers you are trying to make your life comfortable going to devi devatas uh, you know asking for mannats and uh, doing all those rituals and and uh, you know uh, what do you call that uh, karm kand aspect of it alone without really having a devotion it's just like you are you are just you know shifting between prisons okay you may go to a then to c and then back to a then maybe again to c and that game is continuing forever so you have to go to the person who has the key to the jail go to krishna go to god just surrender your intellect with devotion or keep deepening your devotion that will take us closer to that jail break that put that final key that we need otherwise it's just like shifting prisons going from one cell to another to another to another and that's how it continues basically okay with that i'll take a pause i see siddharth ji has raised his hand we can have a few questions around what we have discussed and then sandhya wants to show us something which is going to change our lives once you see that our lives will never be the same again okay so let's hold off on that yes siddharth ji you had a question and uh, yeah radhe radhe siddharth ji please go ahead uh radhe radhe nitin ji uh, my question is regarding the previous verse 
as to uh, i didn't understand how do we uh, perform our works and as a sacrifice unto supreme lord is there some prayer i need to do or should i uh, acknowledge something before I, i undertake any tasks yeah you can say shri krishna i samarpanam astu okay so that is a prayer people use that okay krishna whatever i did i i i offer it to your lotus feet but um, offering that prayer is fine too but it has to happen both in letter and spirit so when we say sacrifice it means it's essentially the concept of karma yoga right so that means whatever you are doing you are doing it for the pleasure of god not to gratify yourself so if you are working you are doing it to the best of your ability one way or to look at it is okay i'll do it so that i can impress my boss so that i can earn more so that i can get a promotion so that i can enjoy a material better material life other way of looking at it is okay god has given me abilities i need to bring out the best in my abilities and do the best in whatever i do so that i can earn more i can give more and i can please god for his pleasure i will do so everything that you do when you do it with that consciousness act might be the same but your consciousness is changing it's not for your own attainment or your own sensory gratification then it starts becoming a sacrifice or a yagya when you're eating food one is okay uh, i'm going to enjoy that sensory pleasure that i'm going to get out of it second is okay krishna you are there thank you for giving me this food why don't you have it with me and i'll have it as a remnant of your prasad so those act is the same you're just building that consciousness that itself becomes sacrifice for god so you don't have to do any big big things there so i'm a student right now so i have to get to studies i do get bored so is there any way i can uh, apply this teaching over here uh, your any suggestions that is so as a student right now you are in a brahmacharya ashram right so you need to focus really hard on your studies and do the best that you can do right because when you do studies when you become uh, when that basically takes you closer to the potential that you have it pleases god typically we under end up under utilizing under utilizing our talents when we get closer to that by putting in our best it pleases god and do it with the spirit of sacrifice in the sense that i am doing it for your pleasure and i will align to the higher principles focusing on my effort not thinking about the result then you have the big picture in mind you know once i get settled i become financially independent then i can bring my skills to the fore for the service of god in some form or manner as well right so just have that big picture in mind and the god will pave the way for you in whatever you are doing so study hard be you know put in your best don't think about the results don't be a lazy or procrastinator all those things are very pleasing to god and have that humility that end of the day you are the one i depend upon your grace to do uh, to reach my true potential if you do that wonders can happen and as a student any anyway, yeah. to become financially independent and stand on our feet here right sooner it happens the better it is thank you nathan no worries um, yes um, yeah uh, john ji radhe radhe please go radhe 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 everyone um i, I just want to um ask a quick question so um nitin ji can you repeat that prayer that you said krishna arpanam as to is that the prayer am i saying it properly yeah i think it's shri krishna as samarpanam as to i can send that to you would you mind please um i would really appreciate it and one more thing about my camera i know you guys want me to turn my camera on but i try i can't do it from my cell phone yeah. i'm watching the program program from my cell phone. Phone. so when i go on my laptop i'll do that but i promise okay. yeah, i can't do it on the cell phone it doesn't okay. work that's right thank you so much for consideration sarvam krishnarpanam astu sarvam krishnarpanam astu sarvam how do you spell it you'll send it to me right you'll send I, it to me i will i, will. I can write and send it to you via chat yeah sarvam okay. sarvam uh -huh. that is means uh -huh. everything i offer to krishna but be careful don't start offering your bad deeds to krishna okay if you have done bad deeds <laughs> then don't do that because god's rule is he multiplies yeah. what you give, you give offer to him and gives it back to you so that will invite more of bad deeds so don't then you take it keep it for yourself and say okay give me the blessings so that i can work on those all the everything else keep on offering to him i appreciate it thank you so much radhe radhe thank you chon ji all right arti ji you were so fluent in sanskrit today ek you know dwadash up to all dwadash i heard that that was fascinating yes please go ahead 
ऑलवेज अ प्लेजर टू हियर यू राधे राधे आरती जी हरिओम राधे राधे नितिन जी संध्या जी एवरी वन नितिन जी मेरा सवाल है ना आपके वो स्टोरी से ही है मैं एक्चुअली ना स्टोरी में लाइफ से रिलेट तो कर पा रही हूँ लेकिन जो तकलीफ मुझे हो रही है ना उसका मैं समाधान चाहती हूँ तो आप मेरी मदद कर दो प्लीज कोशिश करेंगे हम अपनी तरफ से जो हो सकता है बोलिए यहाँ पे जैसे ये सिचुएशन है ना कि लाइफ सेंटेंस उसको मिला हुआ है जैसे हमारा जीवन मिला हुआ है ये भी मैं समझी लेकिन एक जो आपने जैसे बताया वो सी क्लास के प्रिजन में है और उसको उस वक्त तकलीफ है वैसे ही अगर हम देखें जैसे भूखे बेट भजन तो नहीं होने वाला करेक्ट मतलब एट प्रेजेंट जो हम तकलीफ सहते हैं हमारा माइंड तो उधर ही भागेगा ना क्योंकि वो जो आप कहते हैं त्रिगुण वाले दोष हैं हम में और माया के अपना ही लीला चल रही है इन दोनों को हम कैसे लड़ सकते हैं क्योंकि मतलब पेट नहीं भरा होगा तब तक तो भगवान कैसे याद आए तब तो खाना ही याद आएगा भाई कोई दाल चावल खिला दो कोई पूरी भाजी खिला दो और कहीं से अगर खाने की स्मेल आने लगे तो बापरे मुंह में मुंह से तो पानी वैसे ही टपकना शुरू हो जाता है वेरी ट्रू सो इवन टू एंजॉय भजी राइट भजी राइट भजन हर भजन सिंह क्रिकेट और इवन टू एंजॉय भजन यू नीड टू हैव भोजन राइट भोजन इज द वेरी बेसिस फॉर अस टू डू नॉ कृष्ण हैज सेड that although you will be put into prison until you surrender because you are conditioned but i will put you in a prison with amenities basic amenities available so that you can continue on your spiritual journey to hoga kya lord krishna himself has said when you make spirituality a priority i will make sure that you are born in a family where your basic things are taken care of and you are introduced to this teaching pretty early on in life another reason for us to invest in spirituality so food clothing shelter wala part jo hai god understands that part he will not make you get born in somalia or afghanistan where you have to worry about you know um, uh, walking about and losing your leg so those kind of things he is going to make favorable provided we have invested our time wisely as humans so i get your point yes so even krishna understands that and he has said that in bhagavad gita when you do that make spirituality a priority i make sure you can carry forward that journey and uh, typically he will make sure that basic stuff like maslow hierarchy is there right only when people have food clothing shelter disposable income then they will buy things when they have reached a certain economic level and they have security then only they will think about higher pursuits like creativity poetry and stuff like that so when they have reached that level then only they'll think about the bigger questions of life you know who am i where am i so maslow mm-hmm. hierarchy definitely follows but it is all prison but within the prison he'll make sure your situation is such that you know you can do much better than relative to others so i hope that answers part of your question aur maya maya ke parde se kaise hatenge maya ke parde se hame maya dheesh ke prati sharanagat ho ke hi hat sakte hain so for us to transcend maya there is no option but to surrender to the lord of maya which is god himself when we perfect our surrender maya is gone it's like when the first the ray of sun comes darkness has to go there is no scope for darkness as soon as the sun comes so for us to get past maya we have to surrender our mind intellect to maya dheesh which is god himself and that is what lord krishna is repeatedly telling and that is where gita ends as well सर्व धर्म परित्यजे मामेक शरण ब्रज जस्ट सरेंडर एंड टू मी इज वॉट कृष्ण इंस्ट्रक्शन इज टूवर्ड्स एंड ऑफ भगवद गीता ब्यूटिफुल should i share or first we take yes, some time yes we spend some time since we have so i said what sandhya is going to share is going to be is going to change our lives forever so i'm excitedly looking forward to it so please give us a heads up and um i think you have something interesting to share with us okay can you see the screen mhm yes we can so we are introducing our new model for doing seva or for serving um hari guru we all have an opportunity to participate 
and it is a fun filled way by which we can actually serve god um so seva uh, we have like as you can see s e v a so, so where there are four teams there will be four teams selfless enthusiastic these are two english words then vinamr and ananya i guess we all know the meaning so vinamr is uh, polite and ananya is exclusivity so these are all the traits that a devotee is striving to kind of have in order to i think achieve god realization so uh, we will all also do this in our journey of doing this seva so moving uh ji, you can just feel free to add whenever you want to add anything <laughs> okay so yeah let me add quickly so yes so we'll have four teams and um, i would let sandhya i'll not steal your thunder around it uh, we're still working out the modalities around it but some of you have been designated nominated i think we will talk about that as well right like yeah, yeah. we will, we have we some said we have a surprise for you for all the wonderful efforts uh, you have uh, provided for in our bhagavad gita session and and for your longevity so we are going to have a surprise for you uh, waiting for you we'll have four teams so the whole idea is to get together and start you know doing a little bit of seva get used to that part right add to our routine even if it's 2 minutes a day uh, that will count uh, count as well but at least we'll get to the next step of being able to do seva in our little way and i'll paint the big picture for you it may look like a very innocuous act what what's a big deal if i do this click but it all adds up and it can actually work wonders in long run and i'll explain you the big picture around it but yeah we'll we'll be having these four teams um and then we will just load balance it from time to time and get started with our seva stuff and see how we are proceeding around it so it's important as a group we can start you know picking up a little bit of seva in our routine as well see we we do the uh, what do you call that intellectual contemplation during our session and then we added the devotional segment as well now the seva aspect we have a wonderful opportunity to so do express your interest in the feedback tracker and we will do that before we launch it we'll we'll definitely let you know Uh, which team we are part of and what are the specific activities you can get engaged in on a day to day basis over to you sandhya you want to add something yeah okay moving on so one of the major activity that we would want all of you to get involved in is a uh, social media outreach so you all know that we are associated with the radha krishna temple and radha krishna temple has its own uh, instagram page facebook page uh, and youtube uh, channel uh, and apart from that Uh, our classes also uh, we we have all the discussions that goes on in the classes uh, the summary of the class all that goes on the community portal so essentially we want everybody's engagement here uh, which is going to benefit each one of us so very simple activity like looking at these uh, post uh, or the content which is there at these platform like share comment um will be part of this seva this is one of one set of the activities that we will be having and there will be a score that you will get so suppose if you do one like you will get one point and that way the teams can compete among each other i think it will become more clear as we move further but yeah that's uh, the idea um okay i'll move ahead and i'll introduce the teams Oh, sorry first i'll introduce the team so we have uh, as of now four teams <laughs> there you go selfless and four team leads <laughs> congratulations enthusiastic vinamr and ananya wonderful we already have captains for the team huh? yes and um, uh, this is not all inclusive there might be many more people and there there is scope for many more people to join these teams um so feel free to put your names in the feedback tracker if you are interested and uh, we'll just have you added to one of these teams and we have wonderful wonderful leads who may or may not know of their responsibilities as of now but they will it will be made sure that they will know <laughs> okay and uh, i would just uh, probably this is too much but um 
so basically th there are different activities that we will be doing and this will become more clear as we you know uh, talk more about it but just to give an idea you can see there are different scores for doing different activities so people in different teams will engage in doing these team leads will ensure that their team members are uh, participating in these save activities and then we will have a weekly leaderboard which team is leading and which team is performing the best yeah it'll be a little bit of a healthy competition we can have in seva but the most biggest beneficiary will be each one of you no matter how you know whether you are able to spend 2 minutes 5 minutes it will all count up but you'll get you know get used to seva and when you let seva grow on you you will realize you'll say this is the best thing we added to our routine okay and i'll give you the big picture around these small innocuous activities like liking sharing and all that stuff how it can all, all add up okay so that big picture will always help so that is the whole idea so um, i think we have a wonderful teams already pre assigned and team leaders i can see smiles all around so it's let's just work out the modalities and get it going as well so we could periodically look at our board and have a conversation with them and but stay tuned this is just a start it will go bigger better and we will just keep on adding to it so thank you sandhya for putting it together and taking a lead on this initiative okay yeah and i think i'm receiving messages around it uh, we will entertain everything as time progresses this was just the launch so that we all get an idea and whoever is interested please put your names in the feedback tracker and uh, we'll get going yeah and we'll try to map it to the interest you may have an interest in doing particular thing then do that and there'll be if you there are certain activities which require more effort like if you want to get into content creation writing and stuff like that of course you'll get brownie points we'll rationalize that and it will be an honor based system it's not like we're going to go out and check and you say it we believe it that's it we'll keep it simple and we'll keep it simple for the leaders as well okay all right uh, any other questions or we can move to our devotional segment if there's anything by the way tomorrow we are going to continue on this fascinating discussion that we are having and we'll have a brief history of time right we had similarly we'll have a brief history of vedas we'll talk about vedas what are the different components of vedas why it is important um, uh, in context of what we're going to discuss tomorrow so i look forward to another engaging fascinating discussion and uh, maybe we can uh, today's uh, session as such uh, the discussion part is over but we can move on to our devotional segment where we do some chantings and recitations as well any question before that before we move on there are two hands raised i'll take them okay congratulations i can see two leaders so i can congratulate them monica ji and sham ji how is it feeling can you believe your luck see did you ever think that on one day you will be leading a team in daily wisdom from bhagavad gita i can't believe your luck okay yeah i think shyam ji eagerly wants to share how happy he is yes, so i'll unmute you are on yes radhe radhe shyam ji jo bhi hai tujh se hai varna kuch hum nahi jo bhi hai tujh se hai varna kuch hum nahi हाथ तेरा है सर पर तो कुछ गम नहीं हाथ तेरा है सर पर तो कुछ गम नहीं राधे राधे थैंक यू सो मच भाई आई डू नॉट नो क्या बोल रहे हैं मुझे बट ये आपने अच्छा नहीं किया मुझे सेल्फलेस में डाल के आपके पास और भी ऑप्शंस थे वहां पर मुझे आपने क्यों नहीं डाला मैं इसके बारे में आपसे बात करना चाहूंगा कि आपने क्या सोच समझ के मुझको आपने सेल्फलेस में डाल दिया और आपने हम सब को आपस में भिड़ा दिया हम सब संगी साथियों को ये एक अत्याचार भी है हम पर और कौन सा आचार है मैं जानता नहीं बट हरी की इच्छा है मैं तो पहले बोलता हूँ वॉट एवर इज गिवन टू मी इट इज ऑल हिज ग्रेस ना मैं कभी इसमें आना चाहता था ना सेवा आपने शुरुआत करी थी आपने अमिताभ जी ने मुझे फर्स्ट टाइम कोचिंग दे उसके बाद से मतलब मैं कुछ मांगता नहीं हूँ आ जाता है और जिस जिस चीज से मैं दूर भागता हूँ ट्रस्ट यू मी दैट हैज कम टू मी बाय डिफॉल्ट और अब मैंने छोड़ दिया है कि मैं कुछ से भागू क्योंकि मैंने जो जो जीवन में नहीं चाहा कि नहीं हो वो हो चुका है अब तक तब मुझे समझ में आ गया कि चाहत छोड़नी पड़ेगी और उसको बोलना पड़ेगा कि भैया 
जैसा करने कर ले भाई हमसे तो हो नहीं पा रहा है तुम ही कर लो बाकी हम देख लेंगे संभाल तो आप लोग ही तो थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर दिस सेल्फलेस सेवा एस फॉर सेल्फलेस एस फॉर श्याम श्याम जी यू विल कहाँ तक पहुंचते हैं ये आप आप बहुत ही सोची समझी साजिश का शिकार हो गए यू विल बी फाइन ट्रस्ट मी आई थिंक यू विल डू रियली वेल एंड आप को होस्टिंग करते हैं आई थिंक यू ऑलरेडी गेटिंग पॉइंट्स देयर सो बट इट विल बी अ नाइस नाइस एक्टिविटी टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन इट विल ग्रो ऑन ऑल ऑफ अस एंड वी हैव फर्म फेथ इन योर एबिलिटीज एज अ लीडर एंड एनी वे वी आर ऑल हेयर राइट सो will manage it dhanyawad and you can get palen also by the way he he can he can play a good role in that as well so great thank you sham ji and for beautiful recitation as well yes we have another leader today monika ji radhe 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 everyone so main enthusiastically nitin ji ko call karti hu sandhya ko call karti hu aise kar sakte hai waise kar sakte hai to leader hi bana diya <laughs> I mean now now start working on it right so today i was thinking about um, those those plans nitin ji remember that we can you know do things in spotify and youtube shorts and stuff like that so i was just thinking that maybe another week and then i'll get started maybe na aapko siddhi aa gayi you heard me somewhere <laughs> see the word pe na nahi nahi i'm honored and excited enthusiastic also <laughs> so thank you good great <laughs> Yeah, we are honored to have each one of you. I mean, it's it's less just like a close family, and I'm sure we can do wonders. A lot of good ideas will come out of it. It's just a start, okay? And I'm sure, one year, a year down the line, two years down the line, we'll be talking about it. You know, now we have started doing these kind of things as well, and uh, there's no sense of pressure or anything. I mean, it's it's going to be a wonderful way of adding few things to our routine and and seeing where it what it'll morph into something beautiful as we go along. Yes. Wonderful. and shyam ji uh, yes preeti ji you wanted to add something as well radhe radhe preeti i radhe radhe i filled out a tension tracker but there is nothing else uh i don't know how to join the rest of it i just on the feedback i what am i supposed to say you got to say that i want to join a team and the rest will be taken care oh. by our team so okay so i do want to join but i already sent the feedback tracker even so. include your name preeti ji I'm based on the East Coast, so sometimes it gets late, and must be I'm usually on the couch and sometimes sleep also, so I don't turn my camera on. But uh, I'm trying to inspire and motivate myself to uh, sit on a dining table and actually listen to you and the discussion. And it's been really, really an amazing. Um, I think two years you guys have been doing this. Two years, yeah, a lot of two years, yeah. So I've been joining on and off. I'm based in North Carolina. We do have a center here, and we always look forward to uh, Swami Ji visiting us. We've been following him and Maharaj Ji for the past decade. Very nice, wonderful. Good so, to hear. So thank you so much for doing this session. Hope to be more engaged. Sure, sure, and thank you for turning on your camera and <laughs> giving us an opportunity to hear from you. You know. face to face thank you very much and love to hear more from you as we go along thank you very much all right um, anybody else who is interested in uh, chanting or are we good for the session today we'll continue tomorrow if not looks like uh, we have come to the close today and sham ji you you are the only devotional segment right and today is a special day for you so you are a leader of the selfless team today great so thank you everybody have a wonderful day great rest of your evening i'll see you tomorrow we'll continue on this discussion and uh, uh, thanks again for your enthusiastic participation stay blessed have a wonderful day great rest of your evening and radhe radhe from my side thank you everybody i'm looking forward to having you all here tomorrow radhe 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 bye